Hey everybody, it's Rhino. And Steve. Ryan. And we are here at Disney's Boardwalk. We have eaten lunch at um, Beaches and Cream. And we didn't get ice cream there. We were walking off for lunch, but we've made it around once or twice now. And we were thinking we might actually need some dessert here. So, Instead of getting ice cream at Beaches and Cream. Yeah, we took a twist. We're gonna do, where is it? Where is it? It's <laughs> behind Brian Somewhere. over there. It's Ample Hill, there it is. Ample Hill Creamery, the newest of dessert uh, Locations. Oh, yeah, is it the only one? No, the bakery's here too, but um, yeah. And have you had the ice cream there before? I have not. Brian? Yes. You've had it before? I had it when we did our uh, Give Kids the World meet in July, but I don't remember what I got. I remember like enjoying it. Um, so I figured like we could pop in, we'll yeah, do I'm another excited. lap when we're done eating, and then hopefully we'll I have enough there. room after we just ate, but I know, yeah. I'm excited. It's tough. So we just left the Ample Hills Creamery ice cream. I went with the ooey gooey ice cream cake thing. I already forgot what it was called. I'll look at it again in a second. And then I got the peppermint patty because I'm a sucker for peppermint ice cream. Um, but uh, I went, I went for the strawberries and cream. I would need a little something refreshing. And Brian, you got what? Chocolate milk and cookies. Yeah. And the problem is now there the shade's all gone outside, so we have to walk around to the other side of the boardwalk. So. We are rushing through. There's a little bit of a construction going on, but we're rushing through to get in the shade to enjoy our ice cream before, before it, all it all melts and tell you how delicious it really is. Found some shade under the um, boardwalk area. There's a whole shaded area with benches and everything under there. And my ice cream's almost soup at this point, but. Oh, mine's so good. Is it? Yeah, it's not I don't know if mine's because of special flavors, but mine is the ooey gooey butter cake. Mm. So it's like this ice cream with like chunks of... Now it's the ooey gooey slop. <laughs> yeah, right? It's really good. The peppermint patty one's really good. Probably not the best mixed together mm. like I've done now. But um, I'm really I'm really enjoying the chunks of the butter cake. The butter cake, I would say, for me, is like the go-to recommendation. What do you think? This is really good. I think they have like real strawberries blended in. It's not just like strawberry flavored, which is kind of nice. Like, there, I feel like there's actual like strawberry seeds in there, which they wouldn't just like put in if it wasn't blended in, I don't think. So it tastes like... I don't know, like really fancy and nice instead of just like strawberry flavored. It's yeah, the artificial straw. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of cool too because it. The, I mean, the Ample Hill Creamery fits into the whole boardwalk thing because it comes from New York. Oh. Is where they're from, so um, it's really good. It's a little pricey. It was like six something for yeah, for, for this cup. Tiny little. Yeah, um, but they let you put as many flavors as you want in the little cup. She said because it goes by weight, so they'll let you do one of every flavor. There's also not a good selection of sizes, like. I was thinking, like, I saw the $6 price tag, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can just get, like, a baby size. You know how they sometimes you can get, like, they give you just, like, a scoop, like, mm -hmm. and it's, like, three bucks or two bucks or whatever. I don't understand why they didn't have that as an option. Mm. I don't know. I think it's higher, higher class, class ice yeah. cream or something. I don't know. But Brian went to go get water, so he'll be back in a second, and we'll ask him how he feels about his chocolate cookies and milk. Cookies and... It's like cookies and cream. Chocolate milk and cookies. Chocolate milk and cookies. There we okay, go. Okay, we oh, ate the ice great. cream. We have walked around. Final thoughts really quick, really fast. It was good. It was a good, uh, you know. Worth good ice it? Cream. Uh, yeah, I don't know, actually. I would say not worth it because $6 for ice cream is... Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. Especially when cream. Beaches and Cream is right here and they have delicious things, too. Yeah. But it is an alternative. If you are an ice cream fanatic, I think it's a good place. What do you think, Brian? Hey, the ice cream is good. Uh, it bothers me that they don't have many drinks. It's just water or some hard cider or root beer yeah that's it there's no other drinks there so yeah you gotta go somewhere it, else to get a is soda is it like a big enough of a location that they can at least have like a fountain I'm, i am surprised that since they do like the hard floats there as well that um they don't have just a straight up soda they just they have machine. a root beer but that's it yeah and like it's in beer, it's in a bottle so they need something yeah um but not bad i mean if, if you're like an ice cream fanatic and you're going multiple times a trip it's definitely worth if you've or been, if you're staying here too yeah staying in one of these well places. and if you've had beaches of cream a million times and you say let's try something new i guess i could see that but i, I would say i don't know i it's just not worth the six dollars for me yeah yeah so if you've had it before let us know what you got or what you thought of the experience in the comments below we will see you next time bye guys